This is different. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, you know, I, you know, if they can't see us, this might be the best video ever. Oh my God. Are I mean, can you imagine go through the an entire video where they can't see us? You yeah. Ready? And oh. they also, well, well at least you know, they can see that we sat down. Right we could now. use a little light, right? A little light. Just a little. Whoa. Is that enough? That's like a flash. There Whoa, we go. That's too much. That's the light. There you go. That's the light. Uh -huh. I'm really, you know, this is probably, these lights are probably the best thing that we did for these videos. It is, it is. It's why, it's probably what accounts for our increase in viewership. Our hours wide. <laughs> That's probably the main Maybe reason. Maybe this it. Howdy y'all, I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I do like the lights. We're trying something a little bit different. Let us know if you like this. It's dynamic <laughs> light. Dynamic. You know, it's increased shadows. It's a lot of light on it us. It is, it is. It's uh, not just pretty faces, guys. Yeah, so we are solely off the lights that are the Savage 500 watt lights, 250 watts each. Savage Universal. And I sell the pair, two lights, two stands. Yeah, Five, two everything, 500 watts two of lighting. For $135 right now. I know, and, and you're one of the only people who have them because I think a lot of places are out of them. And because they're stuck on a ship somewhere. <laughs> They're on a they're on a dry dock somewhere. It's, uh, <laughs> yes, that's but, that's the best part. But you've got some, so if you yes. want some, come get some. Yeah, and we're the place where you get some. Yeah, because I took these uh, lights to Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. uh, my uh, my second place daughter's house, mm -hmm. and I set them up. I, I, I wish I'd brought like a simple backdrop as Did well. Did they draw straws to see who had to? No, the I shorts? made them all do it. I made them all do it. So short straw, I had to take the. Thing. They, <laughs> they all had to take their pictures. Oh, okay. So uh, and but you know I took some nice uh, headshot portraits and things mm -hmm. like that, and it's just just a couple little lights. They're very light. They're easy, to, quick, to, easy to set up. Yeah. Uh, speaking of lights and setting things up and shooting, yeah, I just want to jump right into that conversation. Yeah, we yeah it's we a, can. It's a good segue. Uh, so you know, it's been a couple of videos since we've gotten to here. You know, we, uh, obviously we had Holga Week, phenomenal video, guys. I cannot believe how many people watched Holga Week in a short period of time. In a very short period yes. of time. As a matter of fact, it's the the most watched Holga Week awards presentation video of all of them. It's, yes, it was wonderful. And we, once again, we thank everybody for participating in Holga Week, watching the videos like liking the videos, sharing the videos. It was, it was yes, a great job. Yes, yes. It was fun. Uh, and then, of course, then we had uh, the Christmas stocking stuffer video, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. which also is great ratings. It's probably our most watched stocking stuffer video. So I feel like we're a couple of weeks away from where we were doing stuff. And one of the things that I did was I took uh, Lisa's class, Lisa Emily. Yep. I took Lisa's <laughs> advanced wet plate class had a phenomenal time. It was a great class. Yes, yes. I mean, it was a wonderful reminder of everything I should have remembered in the first place. Uh, and I ran around and I, you know, I just, I actually had the, the Speedatron lights that, yes. I, that I bought from you. It's mm -hmm. actually just one light. It's a 4,800 watts, was it? Yes, a wall of light. It, it was, it, <laughs> it, you, when you get hit, when that, when it goes off, you feel the light just, it's like it's enveloping. It's a heat wave. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like, <laughs> But one of the benefits of it, because instant tan almost, it, yeah. <laughs> well, but for wet plate, when the ISO is really low, I mean, we're talking about probably I don't know two or three ISO. Nah, is it even that high? It it's well, I mean, yeah, it's about that high. Okay, I thought it's a little bit lower, but yeah, but it's it is low. It is a very very slow process. But with yeah. those lights, boom! I've got somebody in like the click, click of a button. So I think it's seven hundredth of a second. It is just amazing. And I got some yeah. phenomenal results. I had a lot of fun, got some great results. As a matter of mm -hmm. fact, I'll share some of them with you guys. You, yeah, you've seen yeah, them. I, I took Todd's picture. Yeah. yeah. So I'll sh let me share Todd's picture with you. And I still have, I have it. Where is it? I need to bring it in for you. Oh, I unfortunately man. forgot to bring it in with me because I, yes. I, I want to give it to My Todd. My mom got the last one you did when you took the Oh, she took, she took that one? Yes, it's gone. Already Ma gone. Mom wanted to go. I wanted well, to say that. Mom took the beard picture. Yes, she, mom gets all the pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stay up here. I might have to go to mom's house so I can visit some of my photography work because yes, it, it yes. keeps funneling it that keeps direction. Going that direct, it's just um, and but she and the problem is is that when mom gets the photos, I don't get to see them anymore. And well, mom, unless you go over and visit, well, no. Or she not, does she not no, hang them up? No, no, she, she doesn't. Hang she them. stores them she away. Stores them away. And I mean, I've got pictures from eighth grade or ninth, tenth grade. The 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 whenever we would go do field day, right, right. And there's some great, my dad took the photos and they're great photos. And there's one of them with a classmate, which we're doing the egg toss. Okay. And 
Amy has their hands up like this, the egg hits, and it's like coming right through, like that. The rest of it. And it's just like, just right there. And it That's catches. a great it's, shot. Mom will not let me have that photo. Oh. Because she knows what I'm doing. I've got to see that photo. I want to put it on the internet. I, I, I need to see I that want photo. to put it on Facebook. And mom goes, no, because she will be embarrassed. And I go, she's not on Facebook. Still. Yeah, still, yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a phenomenal, it's, it's a great photo. So yes, I will bring that one up to uh, up here and so, give it to you. Sorry, I went no, that's, that's fine. I, <laughs> hey, that's what we're here for, right? Because pictures tell stories. They do, and you've yeah. got a story. To oh man, I tell you, it was. And if like, only we had the picture to share I, with Mom you. Mom will not let that out of her grasp <laughs> because it will embarrass someone. Yes, yes, it will. because it will embarrass someone. That's why I want to see it. So wet plate. Yes, wet had plate. a great time in the class. Uh, took st well, I I did what I considered studio shots because I had the studio yeah. light there. Yeah. I I had the chair, the camera, the light set up. I was just running. I would say, hey, I haven't seen you. You want to sit down, and take a picture? I was just <laughs> grabbing people left and right, yeah. popping that flash off. Yep. Uh, and I was getting some great, great results, which I guess I'm going to share with you. Or I'll actually mm -hmm. give you a link down below as well. If you want to go look down below yeah. and, and check out some more of them. We'll both. Throw right. some up here. Links. So. Um, so since then, I've ordered another light. Because I only had a light for one side. I was trying to do like a little bit of Rembrandt lighting. And I was trying to do a little yes. bounce. But the bounce really wasn't getting me enough stuff. Well, yeah. yeah. You need the bounce like really close to that point. Right. So yeah. I've got now I'm going to split it. So I'm going to essentially have half power on each side and hopefully I'm going to get some nice even lighting. Yeah. I'm going to check my chemicals. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, mm -hmm. I'm going to do some tests at home over the holidays. Mm -hmm. And then I think in January, you know what it would be really cool? What? Is if I came up to the store and I just did some wet plate photography right here. Yeah. Well, what, that, that would be cool. Well, yeah. I'm glad you told me now because it's going to take me that long to clear space out. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> if any of you've been up here, you know we're packed. We got no stuff. floor space. No floor space. Well, we got people can walk around. A There's a circle. trail. There's a trail. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that would be great. And we'll we'll clear a spot over there by the Dr. Pepper sign because there's right there's a. Uh, Outlets we're pointing over, somewhere. over that direction over there so when you come in it's like oh yeah he said we we're gonna be over there yeah so we'll put up yeah. like a, a a very basic backdrop uh -huh. i'm gonna have the speedatron lights and a chair set up and the camera then none of that stuff's gonna move so we're yeah. gonna sit you down or take your photo <laughs> and for a nominal fee yell, fire in the hope <laughs> uh, well i might actually give people like a little warning because yeah. it is it is intense it mm -hmm. is I'm telling you, just shout out, fire in the hole. <laughs> so you've got the dark room bathroom. It's called the yes. men's room. Men's room. Not the ladies room. Not the ladies. Yep. Uh, so the men's room is a dark room. And in there, I should be able to uh, sensitize the plate mm -hmm. and do the fir do the develop process. Yeah. But then all the rest of it, where I'm going to have a table of the water trays. And you guys, if you come in, you want to see it, you'll be able to see it yeah. hit the fixer. And the fixer is really where the magic happens. Yes. Yes. It people is, people is. love watching the fixers. As a matter of fact, if you were to go to my uh, Instagram right now, there I have a little reel of Todd's picture actually in the fixer, and you yes, can see it yeah. coming out. It's very yeah. it's a my, my most popular reel right now. So please add to my most popular reel. How many how many views have you had of that? I uh, it's that one just recently got 10k. Oh, for for just yeah, for just a four by five plate and some fixer. That's ten thousand times my face has been viewed. Yes, imagine mm -hmm. that. You big head. I want to get off. I mean, that. people are just for punishment. I tell <laughs> you what. Gluttons. Yeah. Hey, I don't care as long as I see it. <laughs> but so it so the date. Yeah. January fifteenth. It's Saturday. a Saturday. Saturday. Okay. All day. Ten to three. Uh, ten to three o'clock. Obviously, we're going to take the last plate about two o'clock. Yep. Because yeah. the process takes Unless, about an hour. Yeah. If I if I were to do it from start to finish, and that includes the water bath, the drying, and the varnishing, mm -hmm. the process takes about an hour. Yeah. But you, if you don't want to stay, that's fine. Because what we'll do is uh, we'll make sure they're all varnished and ready to go at the end of the day. So you can either come back and get your plate, or mm -hmm. you can come back another day because Todd's going to hold on. Yeah, to I'll it. hold on to him. So just as long as I don't let my mom get them, you're safe. Because <laughs> so I'll never see. We'll, them we'll make some fancy little display, and they'll just sit up here until they're ready to go. Yeah, yeah. And you have to look like the picture to get your picture. So I, it's yeah, like, so I don't you, want somebody you, else. You coming can't in. send somebody else. Oh, I need. Yeah, yeah that that, that hot that model. She belongs with me. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, that's not no, how it works. No, not gonna do it. Not gonna be. 
And who knows if we have success with it, maybe yeah. we'll turn around and do it again because yeah. I'm looking to do it and have some fun because yeah. I love doing some wet play photography. So you're going to charge a nominal fee? Yeah. A nominal fee. I, yeah. I don't I don't think I'm going to charge a professional fee. And I think, what did you say the prices were roughly? 60 to $80? 60 to 80 bucks for a 4 by 5 For a 4 by 5 I'm not, not charging. 80 to 100 to 25 for an 8 by 10 I, I have seen people who will charge, you know, much, much higher. So I'm, you're going to be less than that. I'm going to be less than that yeah. because I'm looking for some experience. Mm -hmm. But... But in the spirit of no free photography, June. Yep. I'm not See, doing it for free. I, that's okay? why I, yeah, I said not I said, no, for free. Not for, not not going to it. Not going to it. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be prudent. Not if you know. Sure. I I have seen uh, a couple of groups. Mm -hmm. not, not to get too far off the subject. Nope, now, nope, I've seen nope. a couple of groups nope. on Facebook. Her some some photographer is doing a shout out saying, "Hey." I really need a videographer for this wedding event. Uh, you could use some experience. Yeah, I, I, I need like, you. And I feel like just dropping in no. the no free photography link right there. You got. You actually have a whole thing set up for it, don't you now? Well, I did put together a tiny little website. I do have an Instagram. Uh, you and, just drop the link to it right there. And, and what, like, I, what I'm really going to do is create some t-shirts. Ah, yes. And, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to say... Uh, no time for... No free thing. photography June yeah. on the front. And on the back, it's going to be like a picture of a bride. And it's going to say, yeah. sorry, brides but not sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> sorry, but yeah. not sorry. Yeah, I mean, you just have a big TFP, mine for prints, <laughs> with a circle and a line through it. Yeah. yeah. Not doing it for, uh, no not doing for it for, prints. yeah, not not doing this for experience, nothing. So. Oh, man, I just kind of had a flashback. I mean, I kind of feel like Al Bundy and, you know, the, the, the no ma'am with the, the circle. And the oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> TFP. <laughs> What's that mean? No time for prints. No free photography no free. June, guys. So yes, there will be no a nominal free photography fee. June. So guys, uh, you can you can like all you want. We're gonna see about some sort of a sign up list to mm -hmm. obviously if you really really want to get your ten type picture taken yep. that day. Which means we'll probably since the first one's at ten, we'll have to open a little early so people can come in. Well, I'll have to get obviously yeah. get early yeah. to set up and sure. all that kind of good stuff. So absolutely, uh, we'll see how that goes. This, yeah. is, this is gonna be a fun event. I'm gonna have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and if, if nothing else, stop by and watch the process. Yes. Even if you don't get your picture we, taken, just yes. come watch. We have a lot of people who, who come in and talk about Tintype. And I go, gawkers, oh, you I think that's gawkers. Like gawkers. And I said, you just missed the class. And they go, oh, man. And yeah. I go, come by January 15th and just watch. If you and just want to see the process. You want to see the process. And then... Whenever the next class for Lisa comes up at the DCP, jump on it. Take jump it. on it. Go early. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's they're starting to come back. They're starting to fill up. They're starting. You know, I, I took I took the basic and I took the advanced. They are both so worth it. It's, and it's, you did learn more things with the advanced. I, I, I did, you, and I had a, and I I feel way 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 more comfortable. And not yeah. that she didn't do a great job the first time, but it's like you know it's, it's repetitive. You it's just, it's good. It. It's great. Yeah. And, you know, I feel very confident that that we're going to be shooting some great ten types in uh, January, <laughs> January fifteenth on a Saturday all yes. day. Yes. I'm excited about it. That is really, exciting. It's yeah, going to be exciting. That's the whole thing about 2022. And we'll talk more about this in our next video. Yes. But Donzi's photo equipment is going to get a little bit more involved in things. <gasps> what? Now, I, know, I know. We're so involved in the analog world. He's so involved. So involved. So involved. We're, we're, we're so involved, we're just actually creating the <laughs> concept of the Dallas is an analog city. Very friendly yeah. analog city. And... Uh, well, you know, so we're pushing that, but we're going to, we're going to do things to make that more of a truth next year. Yeah. Well, you know, you have yeah. to have a goal. So you know, oh, set up, set a goal. Set I don't believe, goal. I don't believe in uh, resolutions, but a goal. Sure. Pay bills. <laughs> Is that the goal? That's the, That's top the goal. Stop the goal to pay bills. Pay rent, pay gas, electric. Well, that's not all we're going to discuss today. Oh, no, no. But so no. I, I'm going to, and even so, though that in and of itself wasn't entertaining Open. We did have. Well, I, I always have fun talking about these things. <laughs> so, um, <sighs> new, ah, stuff. New, new stuff, stuff new guys. stuff, guys, new stuff. Da, Todd, da, this da, is da, da, da. this is great. What do you got here, Roly? I don't know if you can see this, but who cares? We, we, I'm gonna make we, sure to turn it where it's correct. Yeah, Roly, Roly, Roly cord, Roly cord, Roly flex, infrared black and white film in 35 and 120. And uh four by five as well. Ooh, four by five. Got this. I had the four by five in for a while, but got this in recently. 
very recently. This is yeah. this is fresh, guys. So fresh. And as a matter of fact, what was the first question I asked you? It's like, well, do you need the uh, infrared filter? And so he just throws one to me. He goes, hey, read this. <laughs> read this. And, and then what did, what did it say on Here the package? Here is what it says. <laughs> infrared filter is obligated. That means you have to use it, right? Well, I guess you're obligated to. You're obligated to use it. Which, now this is made in Belgium. So I'm wondering if this is one of those translation things that they did. It's like they type it in. Infrared Belgium. filter is? Obligated. No, obliged. Obliged. <laughs> obliged. <laughs> obligated. Obliged. Infrared filter is obliged. Obliged. Does that mean you can or cannot use it? Please do me a favor. Put that in the comments. What? How do what, you what, decipher... What? Infrared filter is obliged. obliged, not obligated. Does obliged. that mean we need to use the filter or we don't need to use the filter? I still think it's a translation thing, which <laughs> which actually works very well into our next section, kind of. As translation. I, I love oh, people's varying opinions. They typed it in in Belgium. What, what language so what, do you what, think they speak? Yeah, there? yeah. And they said translate, and they said, oh, obliged, obliged. <laughs> Guys, please do leave us a comment. And uh, have you used the Rolly infrared film? And did you use a filter on it? So yes. what do you suggest? Yes. Because we, we would really like to know. Because I would like to shoot this. Yes. I, I am going to rely on your ear inputs below. Do I need a filter for this? Yes. Because I do have the filter. Come by and buy the film from us. I, I do need. First, I have the yeah. filter. And I would love to shoot it. But, but I need to know. Feel obliged to I, I, I don't know it? if I feel obliged enough to, <laughs> to use the filter if I don't have to. <laughs> obliged. I, I don't know. Maybe I should shoot half uh, with a filter, half without a filter. I, I should look that word up. <laughs> <laughs> obliged. Fun. Oh, man. But yeah, speaking of speaking of translations and things lost in translations. Lost in translations. Uh, so, you know. I haven't seen the movie, but. The, yeah, neither have I. Not, but uh, who, who's that? Uh, Scarlett Murray? Johansson and Bill Murray. Was it Scarlett? Yeah, I, I believe so. Lost was, in China. Yeah, yeah, he was in Japan shooting a commercial. Yada, oh, yada. Yeah. I, it's, I, just I have it. never seen it. I haven't either. Let us know I, in the comments if you liked it. But if photography was photography he was involved with it, huh? The camera? Oh, was it? Uh, you said shooting something. Oh, well, no, well, he's shooting a commercial. So it was like a TV. Oh, it was oh a TV. it's not, it was a, not, a, not still. No. Eh, close enough. <laughs> well, speaking of lost in translation, um, yes, you know, I always, uh, I, I do, yeah. I don't read all the articles that come my way, but you know, when you get that certain uh, headline, you're like, okay, click here, I will read this one. And click I hate bait. click, I hate clickbait. Clickbait. And lists are the worst at clickbait. You can say, well, I have to know what are the mm -hmm. the top tens, yada yada. The top like that. ten best cameras yeah. for twenty twenty two. What are the best cam? What are the top ten best cameras for new film photographers? Uh, uh, uh. You know, of course, no, you click on the list yeah. because you want to know if you are shooting any of those top ten cameras. Yes. Oh, yes. Got it. Got it. Don't got it. Never had it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what? Oh, I need one of those. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's. Yeah, I do that. Of course, it, you, you, then you can always rate the list, your, the top 10 film cameras. And when they start out with a Leica M3, like, oh, this is a horrible list. <laughs> this is a horrible list. This is just you like, want a new kid to start out with a Leica? Really? Yeah, yeah, no. no. Uh, so and they this made one, fun of our our video when we so did that. We're so we're going to apologize yeah. in, in advance because we're probably going to make fun of somebody's... Um, hard effort. Hard working effort, which I don't really think was that much effort, but... <laughs> <laughs> Five reasons you should buy a film camera over a disposable, disposable camera. camera. Five reasons why you should buy Uno, dos, a tres, film cuatro, camera cinco. over a disposable camera. Now, mind you, yeah, I just want to know. I don't even want to read in this thing. I don't want to yada yada. I have to go two pages into this thing just to get to the list, which already tells oh, me man. fluff. fluff. Pure fluff. So they, had, they had to take up a lot. Okay, it need a 300 word article. Fluff, 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 and a big picture, big picture, big, big picture. picture. Yeah, but that doesn't big picture. Yeah, that's to make up for this. But yeah, reason number one. Reason number one. It creates less waste. <laughs> <laughs> it creates it's less, less waste. waste. Okay. Now so, I, I'm sitting there thinking about that. So I'm going all the plastic from the plastic disposable cameras will not be going to a landfill because you're going to reuse a metal body SLR over and over again. Well, but they don't know that a lot of times when you send those things in to get them processed, the companies bag them up and send them off to North Carolina. No, no, it creates less waste. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Now 
Now, mind you, we're not you reading. Recycle we're not reading what they say. A here. lot of those disposable cameras, but whenever you shoot film cameras, then the cartridges are being thrown away. That's true. That's waste. And they're metal cartridges, so they're they should metal. be recycled. They should be recycled. Right. Yeah, so there's waste on both if you want to get picky about it. <sighs> Number two, you can be more creative. How? <laughs> I don't, you know, I have been pretty creative I, with a disposable camera, I think with you, a Holgo, with an SLR. I think it's the photographer. I don't think it's the it's camera. not the camera. <laughs> I, I think that you would have to be more creative with a disposable camera if you want a different good shot. Yeah. You have to be. I mean, because... You're pretty much your f stop and shutter speed are told for you, so you get to make up creativity in other ways to get. Oh yeah, different. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you know, bird's eye, uh, worm's view, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. You know, get high, get low, get do all these different things. Shoot it sideways, shoot it with flash, shoot it without a flash. I mean, you know, it's, Dude, but you know, you, you can do it with both. You can do it with both cameras. With both cameras. With both cameras. So I'm still, uh, you yeah, know, not I, really I, a difference. This is not a. This is not one one over the other. It's a tie. You it's know, it's a tie. It's a tie. It's the photographer. Yeah. Uh, number three, it could save you money in the long run. How? I don't know because you know uh, when I buy uh, when I buy a, an SLR camera, I normally try and buy lots of lenses too, and that costs money. <laughs> the lenses cost money. The film costs. The processing costs money. The everything costs money. You know, at, at any time I have bought a disposable camera, I have never tried to buy accessories for it. <laughs> yes, and you don't shoot disposable cameras that much. You usually just get them for special occasions. Yeah, one and done. One and done. Weddings, trips, things like that. You maybe so now I've probably had somebody bring in. I've bring in four cameras. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if the, but the, you know, either that's something that's been gathered up over a long time. Oh yeah, yeah. Or it's something that went to a, a an event. And you're not going to be buying anymore for a long time. What so was that? It's like, Diet cherry, Dr. Pepper? Yes. Okay. No, zero. Zero sugar. Oh, Dr. Pepper, zero cherry. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So as far yeah, as I'm concerned, so, the yeah. saving money in the long run, that no. goes to the disposable. Yeah, I, I think because so. Because I will spend a lot of money uh, collecting camera parts for an SLR. <laughs> yes, yes. That was number three. Yeah. Number, number four. Three. Number four. Number four. Number four. Your camera will become part of the memory. That's another tie. How, that is, I how mean, does it become part of the memory? Well, unless it's in a song, in which I believe Paul uh, Paul yeah. Simon sang about it, Nikon. Take, no, Don't take my Kodak away. away. It was a Nikon. Okay. Okay. Uh, but no, that's a memory. But it's Kodachrome that's the main part of the memory. I, I mean, but yeah, you know. I've got thousands of slides, you know, thousands of negatives at do home. Do you think about the camera when you sit there and looking through that? I oh, do, I wrote the camera. Oh. I do write yeah. what camera I, I used on that. But oh, other, yeah, than, but other than that information. Do you think about it anything past that? I never look at a camera and say, oh, that's the camera that I shot so-and-so's wedding with. Oh, and that's the that's the Minolta X700 That's photo. the Hoga that I took a no, mini Hoga's no, picture no. the first time. And, you know, never. I, do not, I don't see how it creates a camera. No, no, no. <laughs> that no. is it. Nah. Eh, that is another no, one. No. Number five, better quality images and more features. I agree. More I features. I agree. An SLR will give you better quality no. pictures and more, more it features. It will give you more features. I don't think it's necessarily better. I, you think it's phenomenal. Now, wait, wait, wait. you're taking some phenomenal photos with a whole guys. We just had a whole competition where people from Did around really? the world were taking pictures with Holgas. Holgas. And some of and those. And they are cheap plastic cameras. They, and those photos were phenomenal. Right. They were great. Uh, so, okay. No. Now. But yeah, all right. But if you're measuring your photo by uh, sharpness and uh, bokeh and uh, depth of field, which is the opposite kind of, gets, of sharp, well, opposite of sharpness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're well, no, well, I, I, but you want you want the the, the part in focus. You yeah, want you, you yeah, want the yeah. hot to stay hot and the cool to stay yes, cool. You know yes. the big DLT. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if that's what you're looking for in photography, yes, an SLR is going to give you that. You know, a Leica yes. is going to give you that. A high end Canon or an Icon is give you mm -hmm. uh, a a cheap plastic disposable camera is not going to give that to you. Uh, yes, a, a Holga does better. create a Just... sweet spot focus, but it's not really creating the, the the blurred background like you expect because it's doing it in a different manner. The, yeah. the lens is actually malformed. It's, that's the way. That's the reason it's that way. Different. 
not better. Right. In my opinion. Right. It's, it's, it's different. So I'm terribly sorry that we were making fun of this. Oh, I forgot to mention where it came right. from. Yeah, no, this is the great part now. This explains a lot. This it explains, explains a lot. So th this did, yeah, and, and this is what made us laugh the most. This was from a digital camera world. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, digital well, camera world. So let's, you have entertained let, us. Let's let's set this let's set this up a little bit better. So people whose lives are revolving around the digital world. Yep which may or may not have ever picked up a film camera before writing an article. Might not it, have. Might not have. Is now telling people in the analog world... How to save money. How to save money and what's better. By buying a an SLR film camera over, over a, a disposable, disposable camera. Yes. Now, see, now that you know <laughs> where it comes from, does that not help explain yeah, a lot more of the of the what their reasoning for this was? I should it's like, let me just make up five hilarious. things to talk about and post an article. Yeah. yeah. And, and we need it by Tuesday. You know, it's like, we, no, it out. we need it in yeah, an hour. An hour. Yeah. What well, do you got? I, I think it at least took three hours. <laughs> I mean, at least three. Well, four if they actually had to go find the clip art pictures. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, excuse me, the stock photos. Stock yeah, photos. They were clip art, but. Sorry. We love you guys so anyway. So we, we had yeah, a lot of fun. No. Hey, go check it out. Read through it. Maybe there's something we missed, but really it's essentially a, a an article written about film cameras by a non-film camera yep. organization. So uh, thank you for that. Entertainment. But that's not the only fun we get to have. No, um, it's not. So, uh, and I don't know how much we can really discuss on this one, but still this one's from Petapixel, and I do love Petapixel. Oh, they have lots tons of great of art. stuff. Lots of art. They have uh, photographers who are bridging the gap. Yep. As, as a matter of fact, they were the ones uh, we read their article on the the vintage camera enthusiast who got uh, <laughs> who got put, put oh, on the tarmac. Me, bro. Don't, yeah, yeah, that that guy. That was a great, great article. Yeah. Love reading up oh, on that yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one is uh, six signs you don't have what it takes to be a pro photographer. Now, before I even do this, you know, I'm going to give you the first sign in my book. Okay. I have a high paying job already. Yeah. <laughs> and because because I don't want to take a pay cut, I will never make it as a professional photographer. No. Because I'm sorry, I, I already make more than most photographers. It's like, yeah. oh, you want to take a pay cut? No, no, thank you. So once again, I'm just interested in kind oh, of... Oh, wow. Do they have like three pages of... Flux? Yeah, I had to go into three pages just to get to the list. And, you know, that's <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's just so you see th three pages worth of ads. Oh. So, all right. So number one, the, now once you, once again, the title of this is six signs you don't have what it takes to be a pro photographer. And then the person in the picture has her. Oh, hands she's, she's crying. Oh. She's crying. Yeah. Number one, blaming other people for your own failures. I'm not sure this yeah. has anything to do with photography at this point. This could apply to any anything, job. Anything. What, so you might as well just remove photographer and just say what you don't have to be a pro. You don't have to, oh man. <laughs> Blaming wow. other people for your own failures. Number two, inability to change and adapt. Wait, 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 wait. those are just the highlights. Did they say anything in here? Oh, I didn't read it. Oh, I just read the highlights. No, because you realize this is what kind of <laughs> world we're in today. I just want the list. This is the highlights. I just want the just, list. Just hit me with it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, number so, three. Wait, 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 so number two was. Number two was. Inability to change and adapt. Well, that's true with everything. Yes, I know. So that's, that's what's so bland about this. Yeah. All, like I said, remove the word photographer from the title. What it takes to be a pro or not a pro. Yeah. Yeah. Number three, being too proud. I still don't, I don't, you know, I've never considered these things in my photography. I don't, we never, we know some proud photographers and they're uh, pretty it, darn it, good it, at what they do. Yeah. And they make money. Yeah. Uh, well, we and got the pros. story the other day about, uh, 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 oh, what is the photographer's name? I can't remember. Uh, the female photographer, Rolling Stone. Um, Annie Leibovitz. There we go. Annie yeah. Leibovitz. How was she? Would just toss a camera. Two words. <laughs> a, 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 Annie Leibovitz. She would just yeah. she if she get mad at a camera, and she'd I, throw it right. I have heard stories from somebody yeah. who was uh, on working on her on the on the set on the set, and it, whenever the Hasselblad would lock up, she just take it, and throw it against the brick wall, and get another one, and get another one because yeah. she got them for free, and uh, just. He, he said he sit there and watch it go flying through the air, hit the wall, bounce, and 
and you don't go reaching for it because you get fired. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of pride in that. Yeah, just a little bit. And a whole lot of professionalism. But, you know, she can. She is. A, she can. She More power to her. Yeah. And she made her her film collection. I worth, won't throw my cameras even if it's No, broken. no. But her film collection is worth $50 million. Mm. Now, is that success or not? That That is success. That's success. That's success. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Uh, number four, indifference. She wasn't very, in, she was very indifferent about the camera when she threw it. Now this, <laughs> now this, you know, like once again, they could have removed photographer from the title. This, this could apply to anything. Uh, uh, but and however, the, is this the final? No, no, this, no, is, not this is number okay. five. Number five. Number five, not doing enough relative, uh, relevant work, not relative, relevant work. So, I mean, you know, obviously if you're a wedding photographer, you need to do a lot of wedding photography. Sure. I mean, you can't sell yourself as a such and such photographer. You never do it. And so, yeah, I mean, you really need to dive into what your stuff, but still, this well, has nothing to do with photography. Work. Now, number six does. Okay. Number six. We is, got, we got to go all the way down to six, six. All the way down to number six to finally get to a point that I think is actually photography. Yeah. Number six, not learning light. Well, yes. That you applies. Ha you have to learn good, look, good lighting, bad lighting. You have to mm -hmm. learn how to work with it. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. You're shooting high light, low light. We have a winner. We have a winner. One, one out of six. six. One, one out of six, six. actually applies to photography. Yeah, because, you know, that that doesn't apply to everything. That applies to right, very few right, things. Right, right. So, more than just photography, but, but it's far more limited. Now, once again, both of these... Uh, these uh, writers for these posts oh, sorry, we, we do too... wish you well but you know yeah, we do yeah, get to yeah. have a little bit of fun here because eh, it is know. not like the whole world watches this video no. so, so no, a, no, a hundred no. people or so might say hey yeah, I, yeah. I saw you on the such and such video yeah no yeah yeah and you got one out of six one <laughs> out of six is not bad <laughs> yeah todd and mr hoger are making fun of you <laughs> <laughs> and you should and yeah hey they'll know our names yeah yeah, that's true. That's fine. Hey, well, maybe that'll get us more publicity. There you go. And well, maybe more I people. Well, we like actually it. can't look for. We look forward yeah. to more articles by them. So because you know, it's <laughs> it's it's photography. We enjoy it. And we do, we do. And I have seen a lot of good articles out there on the subject. Well, you know, you read far those much more stuff than I do. Those aren't two he of keeps them. on top of this stuff. I'm just I'm just passively hitting articles here, there, left and right. So. As much as I read, I am still having customers come in and go, Did you know about? And it's like, <laughs> No, I had no idea. Because it's on one article somewhere way off into the Netherlands of something. Yeah. And I'm sitting there going, if I, if I didn't know to go look for it, I would have never found it. And it's only, and we'll talk about that in our next one. Yeah. An article that I had to go search for. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a fascinating article about the future of analog photography. And we'll the talk. The future, guys. The future. Well, news is such a crazy thing. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, so most of the people that I follow on Twitter, and if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I'd love to have you. However, I don't follow everybody back. No. That's, that's just me. I, that's my snobbery. I don't follow everybody back. Yep. But the my most of my uh, friends that I follow back on Twitter, they're actually in the UK, and you know, love listening to them, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, hey, good day, mates. No, I that's, that's Australia. Australia. Yeah. Yeah, the UK. <laughs> Cheerios. Well, at least one of them, and I think it's uh, I, I think it's Andrew from the Lensless Podcast. Yeah, yeah. I, he was kicking back that something about the the news at the, the UK news said an asteroid was supposed to wipe us out last weekend. And I'm like, oh, wow. It's like, well, what kind of news do you have over there? Because we didn't hear anything about an asteroid here in the United States. The only <laughs> thing we heard about an asteroid was that it would come close. Oh, I understand. But it, it's interesting. Over there, it's it was an end out. of the world asteroid. But over here, our news was so concentrated on something else. It didn't even <laughs> it didn't even make the top 10. Uh, well, I'd say I love Mr. Hanshaw in our his old history class. I'll tell you what. He'd say, yeah, yeah. He says, you know what, what the newspaper people do to hype things up? Asteroid hits the world, destroys everything. Women and children hurt most. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest hit. Women and children, oh, hardest hit. Man. Yeah, when everything's wiped out. Yeah, it's it's there's all it's like photographers hurt most. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we're having know. a lot of fun with the news. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us. Probably. Uh, but, you know, guys, crazy. we do have uh, some more exciting videos coming. We have one more exciting video this year. One more. Last one. One more. Year. It's what well, we have to end the year with it. We're going to end it again. I bet y'all are out there going, whoo. Oh, thank just goodness. More. Just one more. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and of course, we're going to have more great videos next year because we're already starting yes. to plan stuff. Whoa, whoa. Plan stuff. Not videos, but plan oh, stuff. Man, you scared the crap out no, of me. No, we never plan our videos. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, I'm going to have to pay but attention. But we did, we did plan the, the wet plate uh, in, in, the, in the store. But that's not a video. No, it's not a video. but That's an event. But we talked about it. And we got no free and, and photography. And we June. did talk about uh, the Dallas uh, photo walks. We did, we did talk about the Dallas photo walk event. Did we? we? No, I think we, didn't. we did. No. Oh, we forgot to talk about something. Yeah. But we oh. had, I, I, I'll, very shortly, yep. we, uh, we did a photo walk. We did Dallas the, photo walk. The Dallas photo which walk. Which we push and promote photo walks from across the yeah, Dallas yeah. area. And this is one so of we did the fall photo walk on s this past Saturday. We were mm -hmm. in Sundance Square, which is... Uh, Fort Worth. It's in Fort Worth. As a matter of fact, it's just down the street from the Tarrant County Courthouse, the old brick courthouse. Yeah, very, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Uh, about a dozen photographers. We sh showed up, ha hung out, you know, walked around. We went down to the water gardens as well. Took wow, some pictures there. Yeah, yeah. So you know what the Water Gardens is famous for, movie wise. Uh, Logan's Run. Yeah, they all emerged from the water. Water Gardens. Yeah, <laughs> many, many movies. So <laughs> we had a good time. Yeah. But the most important thing is uh, coming in next year, which I was leading to, which yeah. reminds me, I'll, I'll show you guys a picture or two that I took. Um, but the most important thing is next year is I've already set up the uh, the Polar Photo Walk in February, mm -hmm. and the uh, Pinhole Photo Walk in April. Yeah. So there are things being planned. So there's yes. three events. And there's a third three one. Three events. Which we'll talk about. There is a fourth special event, which we, we've already discussed it yeah. on the video. So if you're already watching the videos, you already yeah. know about you're the fourth one. Yeah. Go back and watch it. But it, has, it hasn't been set up, finalized. We're not going to tell you which one, so you have to go and watch all of them. <laughs> <laughs> People, we, we had... We'll talk about this next time, but we, we had a great year. We appreciate everybody. Thank you for watching. Watching. I had a good He is still beside himself on how many people and how many hours have watched this year. I'm blown away because I, I had a goal and then I had a, like, really, really, if we got excited about it, and then we actually have already appeared. So I'm like going, well. He's had to remove the goal a couple times. Yeah. Uh, and it's, now I'm just like, oh. <laughs> so thanks y'all for watching uh please do share like like subscribe yeah. tell people tell some friends and subscribe definitely subscribe one of the things we're going to try and push next year is to, to up our subscription if you would like to share our video with petapixel and digital, <laughs> digital uh, camera world uh please do so <laughs> And let them know that it's all it's, in jazz. It's all in We're fun. We're having fun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because, wow. Well, for that, guys, we're going to head on out of here. Later, y'all. <laughs> Ciao, baby. Ciao, baby. How do we turn these lights off? I don't know. There we go. Push a button. There we go. Whoa. Uh oh, watch out. We can't, I, I I can't see where we're going. You should have carried that, that thing with you. <laughs> Did you drop it? No, no, I just dropped it down. Well, why? Uh, can you see? Going. I know, that's what I'm saying. This is hazardous stuff. It is. Watch out because I know something's over. Oh, crap. <laughs> Man. It's going to take forever you to, break it, to turn it off. You, you break it, you pay for it. Hold on. Nah.